What's up, fish friends? Um, we're here in my car, getting ready for work. Um, I just want to thank you guys for subscribing and viewing the channel. Uh, thank you. I appreciate it. Starting the year off right, we're at 130 subscribers. Now those views are starting to push up. I appreciate every single view, every single like, every single comment. You guys motivate me to continue posting videos. Um, definitely going to be more active on the youtube channel compared to how i was posting before once a week or four or five videos a month um, i'm gonna try to upload at least two three videos every week i'm um, going out from here so that you have you guys have some contact to watch keep you entertained and that's just what i enjoy um just posting the videos teaching you guys learning with you and so on and so forth with that said, um, like I said, big things are coming for the channel. Um, we're going to be buying a new tank really soon, probably two of them. I have to go pick up a tank from a friend of mine's in uh, Bristol. So that will be another tank being set up. I got to pick up a tank from my mom's house that also will be setting up. The stands will be coming in really soon, customizing some fish tanks, a new project, new fish. A lot of new stuff is coming. So stay tuned, subscribe, like, comment, share this with a friend, let them know that Jawbreaker Aquatic Life has sent you, and we want you to be part of our channel. Thank you, fish friends. Came into Petco to see if they have any, uh, oh, here we go. I thought they didn't have any. This one's a little too big. It's the last one too. They have this one. They will do the same thing, but it goes into the tank. We might have to try a different store, guys. Yeah, we're gonna have to try a different store. <coughs> Hate these goddamn masks. PetSmart said I couldn't record, so we just got some plants. I'll show you the plants when we get in the house. Um, some medium sized ones, some smalls, and a few tall. We'll be getting some more, and these plants are for the 29 long tank. I'm gonna be going to another pet store near me. Probably two more pet stores a day Monster Pets and uh, Peco um, to see if they have the big canister filters. Before we, before we, that, before we even like that, what's going on, my fish people? Um, you're gonna see multiple pieces of this video. We're in my living room right now. Um, so. I did my intro, something like, uh, I talked about thanking you guys for the views, the following, and so on and so forth. Um, with that, I talked about projects that have to get done, about what I'm uh, com completing this year and my goals that I have for this year. So I have a lot that I want to accomplish in 2021 and moving forward with life so the last video was two days ago and then one a day before that so i'm dropping one now i'm trying to stay consistent to keep you guys entertained and so that we can learn together and just see my cool gallery of what i have going on so we went to PetSmart, and i was going to record i went there to look at some canister filters along with some other things but the lady said i couldn't record so i just brought what i had it to buy there um then i went to uh, peco same thing, they didn't let me record, um, but it's whatever. So right now we have some plants. I'm going to show you the plant. This is the first one right here. These are live aquatic plants. They come in these nice little containers right here. Um, it'll tell you aquatic, um, the, the height that the plant may grow, and it's snail free. So if you don't want snails in your tank, um, always try to buy plants that are snail and pest free problem with these type of plants right they actually grow these um out of water like not fully submerged uh, so maybe only the roots may be in the water or half of the plant and what they do is they put them in these little containers i did videos about this before and it's just like a water gel pretty much that sits in and that's how the plant will get 
its minerals and everything else that it needs and they kind of just spray it with water before they put it in here so showing you the name of the plants that we got these plants are easy plants they're beginner plants very easy for you to take care Amazon swords things like that you can, some of these you can glue to rocks and they be perfectly fine we got this I'm not huge fans of these type of things but I want to try something different startup and maintenance pretty much so I heard good things about it that's why I got it um, Pretty much when adding new fish to a fish tank or training, changing the media cartridge, all that type of stuff. So we're going to test it out because I'm having trouble with this tank. I usually always have trouble with cycling tanks. It takes me sometimes really long to cycle some fish tanks. We got ourselves a sponge. Sponges are some of the best ways to filter and get beneficial bacteria in your tank. We got some flubal sponge for the smaller filter. We got some media. These are really good. And we got another type right here. So that's what we got. These two are for the smaller tank. Um, I'm going to switch them out and then add this one might cut it in half, add that one to a fish tank. Um, let's go to the fish room. We're in the fish room, baby. Let's take a seat. Uh, 10 gallon tank, still crystal clear, looking beautiful. What are you doing? You better not be laying no eggs. Eggs are not allowed in this tank. Check this guy out right here. Uh, it's cool. So I left the lights on pretty much 48 hours now. Um, that's why you see like this kind of algae-ish. So I cleaned this side all up. You still see some right there. But it's from the lights just running. Tank feels warm. Ugh, my favorite tank right here. This tank is a tank of tanks. Just looks beautiful. Hit me up on IG. If you have pictures, videos, anything like that of your aquariums, fish tanks, so on and so forth, don't be afraid to DM me. Who knows, you might get lucky and get put on a channel. Look at this guy. He's cleaning the bottom of the uh, plant. And then we have the new tank. We're going to do a, a water change. So when introducing um, some chemicals to your fish tank, always good to hit it with a water change I'm trying to see if all the snails are right here I'm only seeing a few one there um, one right there one right there where are the big ones they could be inside of the skull up oh, right there boom so there and there So this filter cartridge right here, we're going to be pulling this side out and adding the sponge in there with some uh, media filter. As you see right here, I have some, and there's a sponge underneath that one. And then over here is a three chamber one. If you look, see that clear open space? That is nothing there. A sponge is supposed to go there. It has a sponge in the middle and then some media up top. Look at all that beneficial gunk. Ooh. This tank we have the pogo sticking out with a cartridge. That cartridge is going to be coming out. A sponge will be going in with some viables. Look at those beast plecos right there. So let's talk about the fish room, right? Let's get a, a quick view from the distance of how we're looking. So this is what we're looking like right now, right? It's pretty crappy, it looks ugly. So the goal is, I wanna paint this wall black. Um, Cause the theming colors for uh, the brand Jawbreaker is 
black, lime green, and red. I want to put this one black and maybe this wall here red with some splatter lime green on it or maybe the lime green on the black and just put this one red. Um, this will be moving out of here. I want to get a washer dryer. Um, this has to stay here. Eventually, sooner or later, we'll, we'll, we'll be getting central air, central heating. This will no longer be here. Boiler will get pushed back into that corner. I'll be building a little box around it so you don't see it. Then in this corner over here will be going either A, a pool pond of some sort, or just two big tanks. I don't know yet. But in here where these are at, these stands are going to disappear. I'm going to get one stand about roughly right about here, and maybe another one next to it, and then another one over here. And then down at the bottom, once we get the stands in here, down at the bottom will be 55 gallons. So a 55 gallon at the bottom, 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 and then in the middle of that rack will be a 40 gallon, 40 gallon, 40 gallon. So that put uh, six tanks so far. And then at the top will be maybe a 10 gallon tank or something like that. That can change in a possibility. I might do the 55 in the middle with uh, the canister filters and the filtration in the bottom or behind it. And then uh, up at the top, some smaller tanks. I'm not sure how I want to do it yet. I got to get the racks. I got to do the measurements to see if those can actually hold. Um, but yeah, this will be something here. Right under that window, uh, that window is going to be getting fixed and covered properly. We'll go a smaller stand where I will put three 10 gallons or maybe three 20 gallon tanks for quarantining fish. You must, you should, and you should always quarantine fish, especially if you're introducing new fish to your fish tank because you do not want to introduce um, parasites, ick, or any other type of sickness to your fish. Um, fish cost a lot of money, and over time, you will realize you, are, you have an addiction and you'll just keep buying them, and you just don't want to kill your fish off with... Uh, adding sick fish to your tank. Man, so fast. Say hi to the camera. So, let's get on to this tank right here. Uh, man, oh my. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna add two tall plants to the back in this corner here. And then, right here, or over in this corner, I will be adding two of the small uh, plants then here another small plant i don't actually know how many plants i have so i will have to you know get them and then actually actually do it so that i know what i'm actually doing so we're gonna go ahead and do the word change i'm not gonna got, i'm not gonna show you the word change or bore you with it y'all seen enough word changes on my channel so peace